Welcome everyone to the Walker Sh the Walker ROM hack showcase. My words are right there on the screen. Let's read that right. The Walker ROM hack showcase. What does that mean? It means we're going to play random ROM hacks for about 10 minutes at a time that Walker has vetted and given to me. Uh, they range from NES to Super Nintendo to Sega Genesis. I don't know what any of them are other than the names of the titles of the ROM hacks themselves. I could venture a guess each time we try to start one, but otherwise, that's what we're doing today. Uh, he told me I should take about 10 minutes on each one just to kind of test it out, see what it's about, see if I, you know, see if it's about 10 minutes worth of content worth showing. So we'll see if they even uh, keep us entertained for 10 minutes at a time. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to start with NES, if I didn't make that clear already. And uh, we're going to go from there. So let me get my NES folder, or not my NES folder open, but my ROM hack showcase folder that he sent me open. NES. Looks like we got five games in here. By the way, I did not look at these ahead of time. So I don't know what they're about. I don't know if they're going to work. I don't know anything. All I have is this list right here that I'm looking at for the first time. There are five games here for, for NES. So queue up 10 minutes on the clock. I already did. And we're going to start with this one. I don't know if they have their own proper title screens. I'll read it out loud if it doesn't, but here we go. Welcome to Super Mario Bros., also apparently known as Cemetery Bros. That's what the emulator, or the ROM is called. Um, it's looking pretty undead around here. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see what's up with this one, but I'm guessing Super Mario Bros. with some undead, maybe Halloween-ish themes? Let's find out. I'm a ghost. I'm I'm literally a ghost. All right, and welcome to the stream, Sparty. Welcome into the shit show. Oh, oh, that's uh. Oh God, I'm a ghost. Okay, now I'm a taller ghost. All right, all right. So far, I'm looking at level one one here of Mario, but it's looking very uh ghosty and ghouly. Does it still have the secret one up? Wait, secret one up? No? Am I in the wrong place? Up oh, there it is. Ha ha. The green cross for a one-up. Let's go. So I guess this is like a. <laughs> was that a was that a dude on a cross? Was that a Jesus on a cross there? Oh my. All right. Okay, the fire uh, the fireball. Sorry, the star power up. The fireball was like a Jesus on a cross. The star power up. I didn't really get a chance to look at it too much. I'll take a look at it a little closer next time we get one. It's weird that the boxes still kind of shine after you hit them, but all right. This could have been an October game. It could have, but I think Walker has some more involved ROM hack that he wants me to do for October this year. Kind of similar to the one I did a couple years ago when I played that Super Met or uh, it was Metroid Zero Mission ROM hack. That one was pretty cool. Spooky Mission, I think it was called. Show your fear. Nine-tailed frog is here. Welcome to the stream, frog. How you doing? Yeah, I was going to say. I think Walker's going to hope that I have time for it in October. And you know what, Walker? I'm just going to go ahead and say whatever your ROM hack is, I'll just save time for it. I think as long as I keep it in the retro slot, we will have time for your ROM hack for October this year. Regardless of what it is. You said it's only a couple hours long, right? So that makes me even more enticed to do so. These are the coins? Okay. Because right now my retro list for NES, or not just NES, but... Uh, for October. Not very many NES games, honestly. But, uh... My retro list for October this year is not that long yet. I haven't really started vetting games that I want to do yet. I've only put a handful that I already have decided there for sure, and the rest are just maybe in the air. I haven't even started making a list. So, I will put Walkers atop that list. So, there you go. <clears throat> so, what's this twisted game we're playing right now? We are playing Super Mario Brothers one but it's called cemetery bros uh i'm basically it's all spooked out like halloween style i am right now playing as a very tall ghost because i'm big mario and all the coins are looking weird uh all the coins are looking weird the um the the the, the turtles are like skeleton turtles i'll actually play through world one i won't skip the to the teleport I won't teleport yet. I'll teleport later. Oh, wow. I just realized the, uh... I was gonna call it a Deku scrub. The piranha plant had a grabby hand. He was like, grub, grub, grub. 
<laughs> Walker only played up to the first Bowser, I'm assuming is what he means. I'm curious to see what Bowser looks like. Is he just going to be a skeleton Bowser? Or is he going to be an entirely different thing? I forgot you don't bounce off enemies in this game. I was thinking you were going to bounce. Also, the coins. are that is that some religious like symbol I don't re recognize? Is that what the coins are? Are they supposed to be like fucking rosaries or some shit? I don't even know. Well, I will say it hasn't changed up the controls or anything. You don't get the coins either. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. But it definitely has the Halloween theme to it, so that's cool. If I liked Mario 1 more, I'd be like, oh, I'd save this for October and play the whole thing, but... Mario 1 is not my jam. If it was Mario 3, Cemetery Bros. 3, you know, I'd be like, okay, maybe we'll bring we'll bring this one back for October and play the whole game. But like I said, Mario 1, not my jam. Coins look like some kind of flower, yeah. Yeah, I don't get how it relates to the undead thing either. Cemetery undead religious vibe of this game I'm not sure yeah just a reskin is not worthy of a stream i agree it's not changing up anything special this is bowser huh i guess it was a green kitty cat does he always look like that or i wonder if they change him up per level <laughs> also toads a skeleton thank you ghost but your body's in another grave Ooh. oh my ghost trying to get my body back i'd be interested to see what my body looks like in the end now remember, I'm only planning to give these about 10 minutes apiece, so we made it to World 2, but I will play on until my 10 minute timer goes off. But yeah, perfect 10 minute game for sure. I wouldn't say I'm hooked on it, but I would like to see what Mario looks like at the end. <laughs> the story got me. It did. <laughs> Never thought an NES story would get me. Ah, oh, fuck, that's the star. What the hell is that? It's like a... Is it like a holy grail? Is that what that is? I think it might be a holy grail. I was trying to figure out what the hell it looked like. It looked like a cup. Holy grail cup, maybe. And all these undead turtles are making me think I can't kill them because they're dry bones, but they're totally just reskins of Koopas that I can kill. Kyop! Nailed it. A communion cup. That actually might be what it is. I was like, it looks like a holy grail type cup. Are they supposed to represent the coins you place over a corpse's eyes? I don't think so. They look like literal, like, flowery-looking, shiny flower. Like, almost... It almost reminds me of the crown that sits on, you know, Jesus' head a little bit. But it's all golden and shiny, so it's like... It looks kind of, like, flowery. You're glad I'm starting with NES? Oh, yeah, I figured the ROM hacks would get better from, the, from NES to SNES to Genesis and those kind of choices and i did i i think if i if i noticed the item count correctly i think there was more genesis ones than anything so we'll probably do the gen the ness and snes stuff first anyway i'm i'm small ghost now i must not get hit these undead fishes leave me alone i'm glad we got a swimming level in before we wrap up this run on this rom hack here this is kind of a fun challenge, like, how far can I get in 10 minutes on Mario 1? I could get a lot farther if I use the teleports, but so far I'm through 2-2's two done. Grave 2-2, by the way, not stage. <laughs> Thanks for redeeming this, Walker, even if you like dolphins a little too much. Walker may be a, <coughs> a strange character, but he's no, uh... He's no bitch when it comes to the games we, we usually have play from him. He usually makes me play some good stuff. He hasn't made me play anything garbage <clears throat> that I can remember anyway. He made a few, uh, he made a seed of Link to the Past that pissed me off. I remember that. But we still had fun with it. Well, it looks like we might get through two worlds or two graves. Or two, whatever, two worlds. Looks like I might get through two worlds before I hit my <clears throat> hit my timer, unless I fuck up, of course. But you know, we all know how I have a penchant for fucking up. 
I'm curious to see if the boss is going to be the same. That's like probably my biggest question mark. Are they going to have the same boss, or if it, they're going to change it up per world, which is already an improvement over OG Mario, if you ask me. It's always Bowser, and then your princess is in another castle for seven levels. Are we going to switch it up here? Let's find out. He's still spitting hot fire. Nope, it's green Bowser cat thing. All right. Well, I guess that's what the boss is going to be always. Say thank you, ghost. But your body's in another grave. Wah, wah, wah. You'll be glad to know I didn't include anything dolphin related. I'm actually surprised you didn't. And, on, and especially on the Genesis ROM hacks, I'm surprised you didn't include anything dolphin related, if that's actually true. But anyway, you know what? My timer's about to go off here in about 30 seconds. We did two worlds. That was... Cemetery Bros. Super Mario 1 ROM hack where we play as ghosts and it's got undead themes. You know, interesting enough, but uh, let's go ahead and set up the next one, shall we? Alright, let's reset this timer. Boop a boo. Alright. It's just a sprite swap, it'd be hard to make that different. Uh, yeah, if it's just a sprite swap, you definitely would have a hard time putting different Bowsers, but still. You know, go the extra mile. Do it. All right. Next up on the list. I don't know if I should read it out loud. It feels like maybe, like I'll just maybe I'll just say the name. <clears throat> okay. Rom hack number two on the NES list. It's called Deer. My Deer, like Deer, some you know, like a Deer at the beginning of a letter. Deer, comma my memory. Deer, my memory. Welcome to Dear My Memory, another ROM hack that I have no idea what the heck to expect. Let's set that timer and let's get started. Uh, it's looking like Mario again, but I don't know what that means, so let's do it. This one might be a little bit more of a substantial Mario ROM hack. We're already going into a pipe. Okay, well, what do we got going on here? This one might be like actually remade stuff. What the hell? I'm shooting fireballs out of my head, dog, and they go backwards. What the heck is this? Okay, this is definitely different. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I thought that was a wall of bricks. Interesting. Hidden brick to to. Oh god! What the fuck was that? Oh god! What is happening? Ah! What the? F what the? F okay. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Alright. You only get one life, huh? One life to live. Alright. <laughs> also, Zenny is the character's name, I'm assuming. This fireball shooting at the back of my head is hilarious. Oops. Damn it. Oops. I died again. AKA the what the f cunt rom hack. <laughs> It's okay, this is why we only play for 10 minutes regardless. I don't even know what the hell is going on with this one. Oh man, I keep pressing pause to speed up things, but that's not how this works. Fun fact, those moving platforms you threw the floor is, base, is from the base game. They just made sure to never let it happen. Well, they made it happen real easily in this ROM hack, I tell you what. Alright, let's try this again with a little more pizzazz. Dude. Why... <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? So it looks like someone tried to make a Super Mario Bros. ROM hack and gave up. I mean, there's probably a lot more to this than what I'm showing because I'm failing so hard. The one well, the one hit death is what's getting me. One hit... Not the one hit death. Obviously, it's Mario. But one life and I'm, and I'm out. Wow. That just carries you into oblivion. Okay. We're doing all the deaths you can do. I'm used to playing sensible games. Kinda. Not always, though. Alright. Let's just do what I think it wants me to do, which is this. Oh, God. Okay, so I can't destroy that thing. Uh. Okay. Uh, there's a wall here. And I can jump over. Awesome. Okay. Oh, God. Not a hammer, bro. He looks like a red devil. Oh, that sucks. Okay. 
Fuck you, Red Devil. Wow. Can I not kill him? Apparently you cannot kill a fucking red devil. Firebrand, whatever. You have to go underneath. Oh god! What the fuck was that? Okay! Damn. This is hard. That dude did not fuck around. Alright. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of this one. Is this supposed to be based on something? Or is this just some random ass ROM hack shit? Dear My Memory. That's all I can say. That's what it's called. Dear My Memory. Fun fact is I already made it further than you. Why the fuck would you choose something you didn't even bother with? You just thought it was so weird. You're like, Funky's got to play this one. <laughs> you don't see how the title relates to anything? Me neither. This feels like a Walker throw-in. Like, this is weird. Funky, Funky should play this, not me. <laughs> Wait for it. You think it's a troll game? Everything is not how you remember it? Literally everything. Especially when that dude starts throwing shit. Okay. Made it. I'm assuming those blocks are death. I can't imagine touching those blocks is a good thing when they got skulls on them. Alright. God. Oh my god. I hate hammer bros, especially if they're gonna be throwing shit like that. Make it! Oh god. I didn't have any momentum. What where'd all my momentum go? That was lame. Damn. Damn indeed. Hmm. Maybe you'll we'll figure something out if Funky ever makes it past a few levels. If I even make it past a level, it feels like this doesn't feel like it's going to be very long. I'm not going to lie. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a very substantial full-ass game. Time to go look up a YouTube playthrough to see how long this game actually is. <laughs> give me an N. And give me an e. e. I know where this is going. Don't worry. We only got a few more minutes left on the timer. Don't worry. If I'm even going to go the full 10. We'll see. I'm just trying to see if I can make it further. If I keep getting wrecked by this stupid bullshit, especially this guy, with his hammer-throwing crazy-ass hammer-throwing ways, man. Oh, God! Oh, saved it. Jeez. The fireball shooting backwards over your head is impossible to really, like, get down to save yourself. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's any Mega Man <coughs> or... Is there a Super Mario Brothers Mega Man? Oh, like combination? I really don't even know. <clears throat> There's probably somewhere I won't do the full 10 minutes. This is one of those ones where I'm starting to think I might not go the whole 10 minutes. I'll do one more try. One more try. Here we go. There's still three minutes on the timer, but this one feels like a... <clears throat> it's just a trolly-ass Mario game where nothing is as it seems. And it's not very fun. If you had more lives... Maybe... I, li I like that it says damn when you die. That's probably my favorite thing. I know I said one more try, but that, that try was too fast. <clears throat> I'm just going in order on the list. So if they're in alphabetical order, which I think they are, we'll probably just be playing them in alphabetical order. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I didn't mean to jump. That was such a fucking... That was such a fucking anticipation all right well i don't know what the hell this one's about dear my memory but that's uh rom hack number two in the books let's do another one next <laughs> we didn't even make it through eight minutes <clears throat> all right next up on the list well i think you're gonna get your wish there uh frog <clears throat> Mega Man Mushroom Kingdom. That's what this next ROM is t entitled. And it has a Mega Man in the Mushroom Kingdom. A hack by Alexar2006. Let's see what we got. Wow. 
We got the subcon, we got the desert, we got the sky, we got dino land, we got the plains, and we got classic. Well, shit. Let me get the timer going. Here we go. I'm gonna start with... Shit, I kinda wanna start with classic, just to see what's classic. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Classic, and you still have clear points. This is the Iceman level. Okay. Okay, bricks are not breakable. What the hell? Fucking Mario 2 ass enemy. Alright, I'm playing Mega Man in Mario World. This is actually kind of awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if Bullet Bill shoot out of those, but I don't want to stick around and find out. Whoa, 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 whoa! The fuck? Look at that glitchy ass water. I don't know if y'all saw that. That was some glitchy ass water, though. The water couldn't handle itself. Well, the novelty of this is cool, but where's all the enemies? This is very sparse. And anytime that enemy shows up, the slowdown begins. Holy fuck. Fuck off, bro. Let me get some health. Oh, that's... Oh. I thought I could jump through the platform. That was my fault. Why, wow, you still collect the little fucking balls like Mega Man 2. <clears throat> you only played through two stages, but they were pretty hard, Walker. I can imagine why. I only died there because I was being dumb and thinking I could jump through the platform. I don't know what's up with that spot, but this is very glitchy to go through that spot of the level. By the way, did you play this level? Which two levels did you pick? Oh wait, that was a different spot that glitched out on me last time. That guy makes some major slowdown happen. Look, it's bullet bills. Aw, oh, shitballs. They're coming through like Medusa heads. I love it. I fucking hate it. <gasps> I need the health. Aw, oh, what the hell? It glitched out above the screen? Boo. Man, this slowdown is really good. I go in the pipe. I'm assuming I drop down the hole like a Mega Man thing. Ooh, give me those points. You played Planes and Dino Land? Okay, well then you get to see a different level. That definitely looks like an enemy. Or, <laughs> that looks like an enemy. Yeah, it does. It looks like fucking... I'll say it looks like an enemy... F it shoots like an enemy from Mega Man, but it's one of those stupid sniffits or whatever they're called. Like the shy guys that shoot shit at you. Man, this slowdown sucks. That's my only complaint about this so far, is just the slowdown is garbage. Well, no, it's not a shy guy. If he has a little thing on his face that he shoots at you, they're called sniffits, I'm pretty sure. Shy guys are just the ones that have the mask and no, they don't shoot stuff at you. Pretty sure it's just a horribly optimized and any kind of enemy on screen just kills performance. It's exactly what's happening. Anything that's moving. I'm scared for boss fight. If there is one. What the hell what kind of slowdown shit is that going to cause? I'm scared. Anyway, keep moving. Oh god. What's the mushroom? Oh, one up. Of course. What the hell am I thinking? Damn it, you bitch. It's gonna basically be a boss fight in slow motion. That's what I'm picturing. That's for sure. Dude, fuck off, Bullet Bill. I'm glad we got some health here. That's good. Kinda need it. Yeah, this whole thing being in kinda slow motion is kinda ass. Oh shit. It's a chain chomp. He's dangerous. Fuck him up quickly. Oh god, okay, he died. Jesus, that was scary. Yeah, basically if there's nothing happening, it runs okay. And even then, look, like, if there's just too many things on screen in general, whether they're moving or not, it's kind of kind of bad. Okay, well, I guess we made it to the boss. And in true Mega Man 1 fashion, we gotta go through some enemies that are in the boss room. I mean, this is definitely based on Mega Man 1 all around. We can see that. God, this slowdown is atrocious. You just gonna imagine Chariots of Fire playing during the boss fight? Alright, who are we fighting? Is it just gonna be Iceman? It is Iceman. Okay, so we're just fighting Iceman. It's just it's just Iceman. Cause Pat I mean 
his uh his arena is something. Wow, this is what a fucking epic fight. All right, just wait, just wait. <laughs> Come on, man. You're almost dead. I got you, Iceman. I got you. Yeah, I got you! Alright. Iceman's done. See ya. That Matrix-style slowdown. Also, he was, like, floating in the air while he was shooting his ice things. That was weird. Alright. That was fun. Ish. <laughs> Alright. So, we tried Classic. Walker said he did... Let me double-check. He said... Planes and Dino Land. Um, all right, then let's do, let's do the sky. Oh, I should fight Cutman or something, or I should have went through, I should have went weakness wise. I bet you the weaknesses still work, but I wasn't expecting to do a whole nother level anyways. Anyway, here's a Lechman's level, AKA the sky. I guess we're going up. Na, 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 na. Just imagine you're playing this on a PAL NES in 1990. Exactly. It's probably exactly how this feels to play Mega Man in 1990 when and you're in Europe. Slow as fuck. No, I don't know. Did regular Mega Man run this slow? Oh, God. I wasn't expecting that dude to come at me like that. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> I like that they they reimagined those enemies too. It still gave this like the like man level feel. It still has the ba same basic type of enemies. The layout of the levels obviously much different in general. Whoops. No games did not run this slow. Okay. This hack is onto something though. This could be fun if it was better made. I I like this idea. I do. I actually do like this. Guess I gotta go this way. One up. Hell yeah. I don't know if those spikes are spikes or whatever, but I'm not gonna fuck with them. Dun, dun, nah, nah, nah. You recently played Shadow of the Ninja, both American and European version, and you did notice slowdown if you're playing them back to back. Yeah? The European version has slowdown, or the American one does? Yeah, I'm assuming those are spikes of instant death. I'm not trying to fuck with those. Whoa, I don't know why my brain didn't look at that cloud. The hell? Oh yeah, the HP respawned? I didn't even notice. Like the, ref the HP refill, you mean? Damn it. You're slowing down the screen too much. You're fucking me up. Stop it. I don't know if those guys are going to respawn. Or if it's just a one-time spawn. In the, in the actual Mega Man game, they would respawn. The European NES games always have slowed down in the sense that they are 50 hertz and not 60. So they always feel slightly slower. Well then, that's all I was referring to. I don't necessarily mean actual slowdown. Fuck. Dickbag. Whoa! Doesn't even matter where I'm at? What kind of cheap ass shit is that? Hold on, I better move quick. Just duck under that fool. Watch out for all the electrics. And then you get the actual slowdown sometimes. That's fun. Good times. Good old NES times from across the world. Can I make that? Okay, I can. I was like, I want this up here. I'm getting I'm getting kind of wrecked here. Do I want that one up? Eh. Like, kind of, but not enough to go after it, you know? Also, they kept this power up, huh? Alright. That's the one that lets me make platforms. I wonder how much that breaks this game. Oh, God. Ugh. So, I'm probably going to run out of time to beat this level. My 10 minutes is almost up. But since I cut the other one short... Also, the power pre spawn Did you see that? I'm probably going to have to cut this one short. But I think what I'll do since I cut the previous one short is I'll try to finish this level at least. We'll go fight a Lechman, and then we'll call it a call it a ROM hack. This one's pretty interesting. Like, I, like we said, if it was better made... 
I'd be down to fucking do this whole game probably. But just I think it's just performance wise, it's not great. But I like the idea here. Alright, yeah, yeah, timer the timer stopped. But let's let's go ahead and uh finish this level. I think we're almost to the end here anyways. At least we should be. What am I waiting for? I got fucking hops in this version. Thanks for the health, homie. Appreciate it. Much preach. Don't care about that. Probably could use my platform ability to get over there, but I'm not gonna bother. Oh, you fucker! I was like, "Where are the electrics gonna come? The electrics gonna come from? Right off top of the damn thing." It's like you gotta just like sit there and wait until it goes off. What? God, my hops are too high. They're too high. Glad they gave me a health thing on the way up here too. That's nice. Here comes a Lechman. Now Lechman can be pretty tough without his weakness, anyway. Unless he's just trapped and he can't do shit. Look at him jumping and attacking. If you're gonna jump and attack, this shit is over, bro. Wow. Just wow. Apparently he only jumps and attacks. They pretty much broke the boss patterns, so that was pretty sad and hilarious. All right, well that was Mega Man in the Mushroom Kingdom. Kind of fun, kind of interesting, but uh, I say we move on. Definitely could use some ironing out to be actually good. All right. Next up on the list. Next one on the list doesn't really mean anything to me. It says, Somari the Adventurer. I don't know who Somari is. I don't know if it's going to be another Mario one. I guess it has all the letters that spell Mar Mario, but that there's an S. So let's see what kind of ROM hack this is going to be. Uh, okay. Somari Team Presents. What the hell? It's Sonic the Hedgehog! Somari the Hedgehog! Look at him! He's adorable! Oh my god. That's actually a dope-ass title screen, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, let's play some Somari the Hedgehog. Green Hill Zone Act 1, here we go! Oh my god. Why not Marionic? Or Mar Moronic? <laughs> Alright, so this is looking like... So first of all, this looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Although, look how Mario runs! Look at his fucking arms and legs flailing! Oh my god. But I was just gonna say, graphically, this looks pretty good. Um, holy shit. Jesus Christ. It looks a lot like, it's basically Super Mario- oh shit. Uh, oh god, I, I, I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm trapped. I'm dead. Death to me. Or I'm just gonna keep hitting rings and survive forever. Can I- I can't get out of here, right? Traps. Wow. If you don't lose your ring, you're just traps. It's gonna keep giving my damn ring back. Stop giving me my ring, I need to die. This is probably better than many Sonic games. I don't know. Right off the bat, there's already a spike pit I can't get out of. That's I didn't have any rings yet. Um but yeah, this is a lot like the Sonic uh, Sega Master System Sonic. I've only played that a little bit. It's not very good. I should play that someday on the channel. Dude! The game's a bit low, like the music? Well, the music is just quiet. It's not that loud. Dude! I'm getting hit by the first enemy. What the hell, man? Why is this so hard? You can't hear it at all? Uh, You know what the problem is? I turned down the, the my computer yesterday. That's the problem. All right, here. Well, let's see if that helps. I actually turned the music down yesterday, if you remember. 
If you remember when I was playing... <sighs> wow. I already got a game over. That's how bad this is. You have it so I don't deafen you? That's fair. I am loud. I could turn myself down a little bit, I suppose, but... I can't really turn myself down. Oh, yeah, I can. Never mind. I'm sorry. Um, game over. Yes. Can we go back to the tile screen and start over? Like, oh, I'm pausing it. Okay, my bad. All right, let's try that again. Holy shit. I haven't even been able to do anything. We're off to a bad start. Can I get some fucking rings before I die? Jesus. All right, let's not go into the spike pit immediately. So we can actually play the game. Like, holy shit. I can't believe I lost five lives in the first two seconds of the level. The beginning of this level's layout is not cool. Also, rolling down a hill does not really work. You have to actually do your spin attack. God, this is... This is really good, guys. <laughs> Somari! Somari the plumber man, bro. Nice. Nice. Oh, it looked like there was a platform over there, but the game was just tricking me with its graphics. Love it. Probably the worst rendition of Green Hill Zone you've ever heard. Yes, yeah, not great. Not great. Next up is a Power Rangers hack. Maybe. Maybe. I'm sure we'll have more Sonic before the day is over. Remember, this is still NES. We have Genesis to go later, and Genesis is definitely going to have some Sonic stuff. I think we're going to be bombarded with many Sonic things in that um, set of games. I'm sure Walker can concur with that. But I have a feeling he may have put inserted Sonic into many different things. Yeah, every time you click the ring, the song does stop. That's kind of broken. Anyway, I beat the first stage. I'm impressive. I'm amazing. I'm cool. We did it. I like how Mario sat there with a sassy look on his face, too. Anyway, we made it through Act 1. We're amazing. I did start the timer, right? Oh, shit. I apparently did not start the timer. Oops. Well, I'm going to keep going, then. I mean, this is the most unique one we've done so far. The Mega Man in Mario World was pretty unique, but this is, like, crazy unique. Sonic does feature a lot in, this, in the Genesis stuff. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised if you put Sonic into every fucking game you could possibly put him into there, Walker. So, anyway, as it stands, I'm just going to play this for a little bit longer since I effed up on the timer. It's okay. I spent the first few minutes there trying to get past the first fucking screen, of, or first part of the first screen of the, the first level. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much, spending too much time on this game. Like I said, this is at least unique. Although I think they just took, in, they, I'm thinking they just took the Super Mario, Super Mario, the Sonic the Hedgehog Sega Master System version, and pretty much just put Mario in it. Although I don't think these are the level layouts or the music is not as good, but yeah. Can I imagine the Chunky Ranger in Mario Land? You mean like the Power Ranger guys? Yeah, I know you mentioned the Power Ranger thing, Walker or uh, Frog. Yeah, I, I totally, yeah. Power Rangers in Mario Land. Here we go. I don't know. I don't think that's on the list, but I could be wrong. Jesus. Slow your fucking roll, man. Man, your iframes last forever in this. Holy shit, you blink for so long? I'm not mad at it, though. Alright, anyway. Made it through stage two, hell yeah. I knew which Chunky Ranger you meant, Frog. I knew. I'm not sure why everybody calls him the Chunky Ranger. He's not even fat. He's just a nerd. They just make him look fat because he wears overalls. He's really not fat at all. You know when he's fat? He's fat in the video game. That's it. And it's only in that one video game. He's not even fat IRL at all. Yeah, he was chunky in the SNES game. That's the only time he's chunky. He's never fat anywhere else ever. Even in real life, he's not fat at all. Mario's fat. If you want, if you want somebody who's fat, that's Mario. He got a, he got that plumber belly, that plumber crack going. That's a fat boy. 
I mean, he's not that fat, but he's got a belly at least. Shit, I'm in a pit of despair and sadness, and I probably can't get out. Great, I found another fucking trap spot you can't do anything about. Love this. I'll just duck down here and cry in my wallow in pity of a pit that I can't leave. Might as well just be insta-kill, man. I should play Sonic on the Sega Master System. It really is not good. I've never beaten it because it's not good. Just not very, like, the gameplay is just not ironed out as well as when you get to the Genesis, you know? And I think it came out, like, after the Genesis ones did. Fucking, where's my iframes at? I had so much iframes earlier. The death pits have to be delivered. You have to be pretty shitty at level design to miss it. Yeah. Like, the fact that you can't jump out of the pit is kind of garbage. It's just bad level design. Like, if you're gonna put death pits, just have them kill you in one hit. Don't make me have to fucking wait till my rings go away, and then I can keep picking my rings back up while I'm in the pit. Like, it just feels like it defeats the purpose of it being a death pit. Don't go to a death pit. No! Dude, I couldn't stop rolling! Oh my god. Well, here we are again. Waiting, to, waiting for death. Praying for death. And the rings keep coming back to me. Love it. Watch as the rings keep coming back to me. Man. I just wanted to fight Robotnik. But if I can't get past this one fucking pit, it doesn't feel like it's going to happen. Plumbers get paid really well. There's a reason why plumbers are fat. They get paid real nice. I mean, most of the time, yes. Bro. Bro, stop rolling. I need to stop rolling myself if I'm going to keep rolling off the edge like that. The roll does not stop on its own. like Or it does, but you have to wait. You can't just, like, kill it in mid-roll. Bro, slow the fuck down, Mario. Jesus. Bro! Dude, he starts getting all wobbly-wobbly and shit. Like, bro, slow the fuck down, Mario. They gave him momentum, man. Service calls are two hundred dollars. Man, New York be gouging people. Nah, I'm not. I'm not saying it's any cheaper anywhere else. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a plumber. I don't know what they charge in general. Fuck. This sucks. Wow, I can actually jump out of the animation in the intro. That's funny, bro. Stop putting me. Where I'm gonna not land up there. I wanna land up there, man. If I don't land up there, I'm gonna die. Too much spaghetti makes a pudgy plumber. Indeed. I eat a lot of spaghetti! Or whatever the, little, the joke was. Alright, no more spin attacks off of the top here. Slow your fucking roll. I'm gonna get on this platform. We're gonna cross it. It's gonna be epic. All right, there it is. We're finally gonna cross the pit, y'all. We did it. And then there's probably gonna be another one right after it, and we'll fall right into the watch. All right, I'm gonna have to do spin attack through this one. We. I'd love to get to the first boss at least. It's also a one up up there. I don't know if I can get up there. I'm not gonna worry about it. Definitely another pit there. Another pit of sadness and despair. Fuck off, you crabs. Fuck off, you fucking flies. Fuck off, crab! Too many crabs and too many flies! Oh god. Thank god it wasn't another pit of fucking spikes, man. What the fuck? Is there a spring there? I didn't even see it. Dude, these crabs and their goddamn... They shoot as soon as you see them. 
Also, holy fuck, that was scary. Oh, made it to the boss. Here we go. It's definitely like the first boss in Sonic the Hedgehog one. Cool, lost all my rings right away. Ooh, damn. And that's game over. Sad face. It's okay. I think we got the gist of it. It's a poorly uh, controlled Sonic Mario game. I think we can move on from that. My timer's about to go off, and we definitely started late, so... That was So Mario. Or So Mari. This intro title screen, the song just sounds like it's dying, which is hilarious. But all right. Next. Also, hi, FML. Mario doesn't belong in Sonic. Oh, he does. All right, guys. This is our last NES game, and I'm excited because it says Super Mario Bros. 3 x what does the x mean i don't know but here we go infidelity oh shit mario 3 is my favorite what do we got yo this has got an intro the super mario bros have defeated king koopa and rescued princess toadstool everyone thought king koopa had left the mushroom kingdom and then the Fire Nation came. Dude, this shit's got some story. What the hell? His doom ship attacked. King Koopa was back. With the greatest danger ever known. His Koopa kids. Oh, no. Can the Super Mario Bros, Toad, and Princess Toadstool rescue the Mushroom Kingdom and beat back the evil Koopa family? So you get to play as all four of them? That's cool. They added Toad and Peach into the gameplay here. All right. Oh, shit. What's going on here? Boink. Oh, okay. Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus. Oh, I guess you couldn't put plus in the title. Instead of X, it's plus. All right. Well, this is the normal Mario 3. Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go, y'all. New file. Here we go. It's World 1. So is it just Super Mario Bros. 3 normally? But apparent. Oh, shit. I didn't start a new timer. Sorry. Let me restart. That's fine. This is Mario 3. I don't mind playing a full 10 minutes from this point. All right. Timer's going. Ground pound on and off. Ground pound on, please. Oh, fuck yeah. We can ground pound? That's dope. All right. So uh, Walker said something about character select. Okay. So it's basically Mario 3 with some new controls and new stuff, huh? All right, that's cool, man. I am down. Butt pound for the win. That's actually pretty dope. Can I pound blocks? Fuck yeah. Oh, I lost it, but yeah. You have to do it on the map. Okay, well, we'll switch characters out on the map then. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, well, it's fucking Mario 3. It's, I'm assuming all the levels are the same. They just added new gameplay and new play, gameplay abilities, which is really cool. That's actually like, you know, some Super Mario 64 DS shit. You know what I mean? That's a cool idea. But alright, let's just run through this and we'll switch characters up. Try somebody else. We've played Mario 3 with Mario a million times. Let's try somebody else. Alright, so here we go. You can choose your character. Oh, it keeps track of what levels you've beaten with each character. Like, how many. That's pretty cool. And it keeps their power up? Bro. And it has a save and continue option down there, too? That's cool. Oh! Wait. Oh, you can replay the levels. Oh, that's super cool. You can replay levels too? Oh, man. Whoa! Luigi's got some fucking hops, homie. God damn. All right. <laughs> oh, man. This is the kind of shit I can get down with playing. Holy crap. This is awesome. Oh, dude. Dude. You got me. You got me with this one. Luigi going to the fucking moon here, bro. Oh, uh, fuck. I fucked that star up. That's fine. Like, holy shit, bro. To the fucking moon, homie! He's got that Super Bro 2 jump. He does. He does. The definitive version of Mario 3. Kinda. Alright, so Luigi's got them high jumps. Let's check out Toad. See what Toad's all about. Okay, his hops are pretty normal. I don't know what his ability is gonna be like, but I'm sure he has something unique about him. Anyway, so looks like we found a ROM hack. Funky's gonna have to do a playthrough of. Maybe, maybe. 
I definitely love Mario 3, so I'm not mad at that. Toad has a kick attack. Oh shit! Yeah, he does! Fuck yeah, bro. Kill up! Kill up! Kill, kill up! Kill, kill up! <laughs> so fucking funny. Oh my god, I love it. Oh god, and Toad can fly? Oh man, this is... Oh, this is good stuff. Okay, well he doesn't have the kick anymore when I'm doing this, but that's fine. Oh god! Nice dodge. Well, I love Mario 3, so if you're gonna make Mario 3 even better... Like, by just adding more gameplay mechanics and not taking away anything good about it already... You, you've already got my attention. <laughs> and that's exactly what they've done here. At least so far. I've only played three levels, but holy shit. Hell yeah. I got a whistle, y'all. I'm never gonna use it. Well, I guess I could, just to try try to go somewhere besides the first world. I wonder if there's any new power-ups. Hmm. Oh, definitely, uh, just a leaf for the first one. Alright, well, if Toad has a kick move, I wonder if Peach has a float move. Yup, she's got that Mario 2 float action. Damn, her small sprite looks fucking silly, by the way. <laughs> small Peach is very small. What up? Yeah! Dude, floating Peach is broken as always. It's like, have you ever wanted to play Mario 3 but with Mario 2 set capabilities? You're in the right place. Hell yeah, dude. Peach is perfect for this level. Are you kidding me? Can you hold down for a super jump? Good question. Okay, no. It doesn't have full Mario 2 capabilities, but just the fact that I can float is a winner. If they added the super jump also, that would have been a little bit broken, I think. It's like Luigi can already jump pretty fucking high. I don't know if you saw, just his regular ass jump was ridiculous. It's like, if you need to jump high, just Luigi it up. So this is cool, you can pick characters based on what the level might require. I love that. I love that. And you can go back and replay levels, which I think is also really cool. That's a great addition. Oh shit, I didn't even look, but she had a full-on... Oh man, Peach had the full-on... She was like fully animated there. Fully drawn out. My bad, I should have looked at that. Okay, I should have switched characters, but whatever. We're doing this one as Peach. We'll switch it up after this. Fire Flower, she just gets kind of orange, or orange hue about her. Nothing special there. Um, I'll fight the boss, I guess. I was like, I was thinking I might just grab this and go, but I guess I'll fight the boss. I can have this as a definite playthrough for later. Maybe, maybe. I mean, it would be a one-stream thing regardless, because I am I can plow through Mario 3. I mean, as you can see, I haven't even been playing for 10 minutes yet. I'm going to beat World 1 pretty quickly here. I'll probably just finish World 1, and then we'll call that um, a Mario 3... Super Mario Bros. 3 Plus playthrough. Nailed it. You think there might be about three or four games I might commit to? Well, this one is definitely like a hell yeah, that'd be cool. In fact, I could do this one three times. We could just play every level as every character. You know, minus Mario, because we've beaten the game as Mario enough times to, for it to not need to be happening again. Alright, what's the next level? It's the ice one? Alright, I'm not going to bring Peach for that one. I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Toad for the next one. That sounds like a good plan. Oops, that's not Toad. That's Toad. Let's bring Toad for this one. Let's do it. So we can kick some fools. Can I kick fucking... Oh, I don't have my kick right now. Well, I do now. Hell yeah. Should we go to Coin Heaven? Fuck it. Let's go to Coin Heaven. Peach will be perfect for the flying ship levels. Hell yeah, dude. Especially in the later level ones where they're like way more treacherous to fall. Man, just... So many ideas here that are just great. I love this. Take note, Nintendo. People love Mario 3 still, goddammit. Do shit like this. It's genius. Let's see if I can kick these fools. Let me see. Boop! Yeah! You can kick piranha plants. Awesome. 
Man, the game will be easier with all these characters too, because you, like I said, you can use a character for any situation. So I can think of parts and levels where it's like, well, if I could just float over it, now I can. Ooh, we get to do that too, nice. All right, no star there. Hmm, wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that, but all right. All right, level five. Oh wait, I already did level five. How do oh, I can't leave a level, huh? Shit, I already did level five. Whoops, I didn't mean to do it again. I did it because it didn't reset on the map. Whatever, we can run through it quick. It's fine. Or if I die, I'll just go out. I could just die, I guess, but it's fine. We could run through every level in World One super fast. So you can collect cards again to grind out one-ups too. That's crazy. You can. That's crazy. I love that. Replay a level so you can grind out lives. That's such a cool idea. Alright, this level... You know what? I'm gonna bring Ouija on this one. Let's go. I love that they keep their power-ups too, so it's like trading between the turtles and... Like you're playing TMNT on NES where you can, you know, hold on to your power-ups and shit. It's so nice. And Luigi's got so much fucking hops along with floating, it's like not even fair. Man. Such a cool idea. I'm glad we left off. We're gonna leave off the NES list of games here off on this. Yep, we got that Luigi fucking hops. We don't need none of that shit, bro. Yeah! Oh, I missed the star though. Sad face. Alright, cool. And I think we'll wrap it up by using Peach on the. On the airship level. Well, I guess I'll grab the mushroom item as well. But this is pretty dope. Enjoy this a lot. I mean, again, it's just Mario 3, but with more capabilities, and I love it. I keep wanting to press that to switch characters. Alright, let's go ahead and be Peach for the Bows. This is fun even listening to it. Well, I mean, it's still Mario 3. You can't be mad at it. The music's there, and just my excitement. It's like, it's exciting to play Mario 3 again. Not that I'm not excited to play Mario 3 when I do play it, but it's just like, what else is there for me to say while I'm playing it? I'm just kind of playing it because I like to play it. But this is giving me things to talk about and enjoy and exclaim about and be like, oh man, this is much nicer. Because <laughs> even when I do like a randomizer of this game, it just becomes, like, it, it's still fun, but it's like, you're just doing the levels out of order also. Um... My timer just went off. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna finish this level. I should pass this one on to Drew. I should! Drew loves Mario 3. Actually, I might do that. I might actually show Drew this one. If he's not already watching right now, which he probably isn't at this... Well... Nah, he, I mean, he could be. He might be listening. I don't know, but I doubt it. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely pass this one on to him or tell him about it for sure. Because this is pretty cool. Anyway, get fucked, Iggy, or whichever one you are. Alright, we beat World 1, and that is going to be our time on Mario Bros. 3 X, or Mario Mother 3 Plus, I think is what it's supposed to be called. That was fun. Um, I like. I didn't even use the ground pad move, I keep forgetting. Also, Walker mentioned that there's a wall jump, which I didn't even have a chance. Jumping for the wand is slower, I didn't even notice. Anyway, they're about four or five two-player hacks. You didn't include them because you should seriously play some of them with Drew. Well, someday me and Drew will be able to do some co-op stuff again. It's going to be hard to coordinate times while I still live here, but I won't live here forever. I, I long-term plan is to still move back to the West Coast eventually. So when that happens, it'll be much easier to collaborate with Drew again. But yes, you got like a two-player Super Mario Brother World hack. Oh, that's cool. You also have one where player two controls the enemies in Super Mario World. What the hell? That's crazy. But alright, anyway, Mario 3 plus. Big thumbs up for me. Next.